This is the launch of this relationship with the Connecticut State Police. D2C is honored to be a part of their curriculum here at the Training Academy. Uh, we're focusing on relationships, how to build relationships in life, not just as law enforcement officers with the community, but in life with spouses, with friends, family. I think it's time to up the game. I mean, we've always done implicit bias training. We've always done training uh, to talk about implicit bias and cultural differences, but we've never had something as hard hit, hard hitting as this program. D2C come in, speak to our recruits. We're now having putting a face um, with these organizations, with our community leaders, with our community. This is stuff that we've been doing for a very long time, and now that it's with the basic recruit level with go on to be a trooper, all the way up to our senior level troopers and our command staff and leaders. I think that's a foundation for what law enforcement does uh, with people that they come into contact with. It's the golden rule we live by in other parts of life, and we should use that in our professional lives as well. One of the pieces that I think is critically important is that our officers, police officers on the street, should be self-aware, whether that be their implicit bias or just understanding what triggers them, what excites them, and that self-awareness is the cornerstone of, our, of their effectiveness. With the program that D2C is, is, is bringing to the state police, it's going to help them understand the community that they're dealing with. This new class of troopers, just having them have this foundation to, to go out into the, the different troops throughout Connecticut and, and bring this understanding, this message to the people they work with, uh, it's just going to move the system forward. From day one, we started conversations which people aren't always comfortable about. Race, sex, interactions with the police, uses of force, and it was just an open forum for about 20 to 25 students from all over the United States. And he facilitated the conversation and we basically kept it moving the whole time. D2C and myself, we've been doing this prior to George Floyd. This is something that's a passion of mine that I've been trying to work on relationships between the police and the community. George Floyd was just a catalyst that took it over the top because that was witnessed in front of millions of people. It was like live view. But we've been always trying to build the relationships within our community and the police. I think it was crucial. I think it was something that we didn't really think about, but it was definitely an eye-opening experience, especially coming from you know, uh, the speakers that we had today, the wonderful, wonderful speakers. This type of training is something that the organization didn't have to do. I think in all with the actions that they show, with what they've done so far to, to teach us how to go out there and be a better officer, serve the community in a much better light. If I only did what came within my doors, then we still have a problem. Because the first contact that people have when it involves the criminal side of things is with a police officer or with a trooper. The Connecticut State Police and, and Connecticut law enforcement in general has always done a good job at uh, community policing efforts and uh, cultural awareness and diversity. And we want to remain on the cutting edge of that training. And that's why D2C is, is with us.